Hi there, if you've come to this page, I'm almost certain that you have the Qt Core 4 dot DLL error coming up in your computer. You probably have some kind of dialog box coming up suggesting that uh, you're missing this file. So give me a minute or two and I'll explain uh, the quickest way to fix this error. So first let me introduce myself. My name is Michael Phillips. I'm a computer technician and I've been fixing computers for over 10 years. And as you can probably imagine, I've seen every kind of computer error imaginable. Uh, you know, the first question you may have is, how do I know that I have a qt4.dll error? Well, you probably have one of the following four messages on the screen. You probably have a message that says um, you have a Windows-related um, error to the qt4.dll. You may have the qt4.dll not found error message. It may tell you that the file qt4.dll is missing. Or you may have something that says the program can't be found because the file is missing. So what's the quickest way to fix this kind of error? Well, in my opinion, hands down, what I recommend to all my clients is a piece of software called Registry Easy. Uh, the software is probably the easiest and most effective software on the market that fixes any kind of, not just DLL problems, but any kind of Windows uh, computer problem in general. I, I, what I found is that this software fixes at least 98 to 99% of the most common uh, errors and problems associated with Windows. And the reason I love it is because in three simple clicks, it fixes your computer, it will scan it, and best of all, it works. So what exactly does the software do? Well, here's a screenshot of the software in action. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to go, you know, you click the scan now, and it's going to go out and it's going to look at uh, some of the common uh, Windows associated errors. It's going to look for um, DLL errors. It's going to look for um, invalid file extensions, invalid file paths, uh, invalid shortcuts, all that great stuff. And what's great about it is that as it goes through the process, there's a status that tells you where it's at, as well as it highlights in red all of the errors that it's found. And I can tell you, I can, I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll bet you that once you use the software and you put it through the paces, it's going to identify well over, I'd say, minimum 400 errors that you didn't even know existed on your computer. That's the beauty of the software is that it really, really works. And that's why I love it and that's why I recommend it. The software also has some additional um, built-in features here. It has a system optimization tool. And one of the things you'll notice as you, as you begin to use these tools is it's definitely going to speed up your computer. So that's always a good thing. Everyone likes a fast uh, computer. It also has um, some system tools, same concept. Um, you click a button, it's going to tell you some errors, you're going to fix it. It's going to help you with password recovery, it's going to help you with file recovery. There's a really um, cool tool here called Startup Manager where you can customize your startup programs and all that great stuff. So, like I said, this whole software, it's great, it's simple, I recommend it. Um, the best part is you can now get uh, a free system scan with the Registry Easy software on my blog. It's completely free. Just go to qtcore4dll.com or there's probably a link either below this page or off to the side. Click that, I'll take you to my blog, read my blog, lots of useful tips there. Um, download the software, give it a try. Like I said, based on all my years of experience, I have found Registry Easy to be the easiest and most effective way to fix DLL problems and any kind of window problems uh, in general. So go check it out. Once again, my name is Michael Phillips. I hope you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.